Hello everybody and welcome back to another math learning video. Today I brought you guys this problem here. 1 over a plus 1 over b is equal to 1 over 13. And what I'm going to show you guys is how to find values for a and b to make this equation true, okay? So we want to find what a equals and what b equals. So before we get started, I'm going to lay some ground rules. And those rules are that a and b are both greater than zero, both positive values, and they are both integers, okay? So that means that they are whole numbers and not decimals. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have a, b, 13 in the denominators. So I'm gonna to try to get rid of all the denominators. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to multiply by a, b on the left side. And whatever you do to the left, you have to do to the right. So you multiply AB actually by both sides, sorry. And now when you multiply AB to the numerators here, AB times 1 is just AB. So we're going to have AB in each of the numerators here. So ABA plus AB over B is equal to AB over 13. Now if we look on the left side, we can see that in the numerators here, there's a similar value in the numerators and the denominators. And so these values, whatever is in the numerator and denominator, you can cancel out. So that leaves us with b plus a is equal to ab over 13. Okay, so now what do we want to do next? Well, now we want to get rid of the denominator on the right side, right? So let's just multiply by 13. So these 13s cancel out here. On the left side, we'll have 13b plus 13a is equal to ab. Okay, so now we have this. So what do we do next? Well, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put everything on one side. So I'm going to subtract 13b and 13a from these sides. I'm going to rewrite it here. So we're going to have ab minus 13b minus 13a is equal to 0, okay? So we rewrote this equation, but this is still equal to the same thing. So what am I going to do next? Well, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add and subtract 169 at the same time. So what does that mean? So basically, 169 minus 169 is equal to 0, right? So if we add and subtract 169, that means that we're basically just adding zero, so the equation stays the exact same. So this will be like AB minus 13B minus 13A is equal, oh, sorry, not is equal to, but plus 169 minus 169 is equal to zero, okay? So now, why did I do that? Well, now I did that because now I am going to group together. So let's rearrange this equation now. So I'm going to rewrite this equation as AB minus 13B, okay, from here, minus 13A. And since we have a minus here, this pl plus, instead of plus 169, it will be minus 169 because minus and minus cancel each other out and make a plus. And now this 169 here, I'm going to add to the right side, okay? So I'm gonna add it. So this is all equal to, this equation is equal to 169, okay? So now we have AB minus 13B minus 13A minus 169 is equal to 169. Now why did I do this? Well, I did this because now we can f do some factoring out, okay? So on this left equation, right, both of these terms, a, b, and 13, b, have a common value, and that is b, so we can factor that b out. So this equation becomes b times a minus 13, right, because the b's cancel out in both of these. And then on the, le on the right equation, 13, a minus 169, both of these terms have a factor value of 13 because 169 is actually equal to 13 squared, okay? So this gives us 13a minus 100, 
not 169, sorry, we factor out 13. So that means you divide by 13. Basically, we just get 13 again, okay? This is equal to 169. So now here, these two values, right, are the same, a minus 13. So we can basically factor them out from both of these terms here. So that'll give us a minus 13, we factor that out. And then we're left with these two values, b and negative 13. So b minus 13. And this is equal to 169, okay? So now to solve for a and b, we need to know what are the factors of 169. Well, we already went over that 169 is equal to 13 times 13. And the other factor value 169 is simply 169 times 1, okay? Now, so 1 times 169, of course. So now, these two are terms, right? So these two terms when multiplied together are equal to 169. So we can set, so these two terms together, so this whole term a minus 13 times b minus 13, if this a minus 13 is equal to 13, and this b minus 13 is equal to 13, then this equation is true, right? So to make our a, to make this 13 and our b 13, one possible pair is 26, right? because 26 is equal to, 26 minus 13 is equal to 13, right? So if we put 26 minus 13 here, and 26 minus 13 here, that's 13 times 13, and that's equal to 169, okay? So now, so we got this, got our pair for this, and now just 169 times one, so if you make, this first term 169 that means that we need to add a minus 13 is equal to 169 so add 13 and that gives us that our a is equal to 182 and our b would be equal then our b has to be equal to 1 so our b would be equal to 14 okay and now for the last one this is just 1 times 169, so we can just flip around the equations. We can just flip around because a times b is equal to b times a, it's the same thing. So we can have that a is equal to 14 and b is equal to 182. So these are the possible values for a, time, for a and b in this 1 over a plus 1 over b is equal to 1 over 13, okay? So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye!